Happy Monday! <laughs> I woke up at like half seven naturally, which just doesn't happen. Um, so it's now 8am and I should probably get up because if I go back to sleep, I'll just sleep until like midday. So. <laughs> coming up to 10am on Monday and I'm feeling pretty productive. I naturally woke up at like half seven this morning which was amazing so I forced myself out of bed, did my workout today, had a shower as you can see and now I'm just catching up on a lecture from last week on um, futurism which is really interesting so yeah just enjoy my coffee. It's a really nice sunny morning outside I'll probably do some reading in the sun. Oh, I think this is week, officially week four of quarantine. This is just mad. Paradoxically, this claim for a national identity, the, the, the claim for Mediterranean space, of greco roman Judeo-Christian culture as the center of world culture. Insightful and relevant, Gusto. Thanks for that. Also, that lecture was so interesting. I took down so many notes. Um, it was all kind of about futurism, and then we did a bit about Tichirico, who's so cool. So I just made brunch, is anyone surprised? I'm having avocado and eggs, wow, revolutionary. Honestly guys, it's the little things in life, you wanna enjoy them. It is three o'clock now and I have my African novel seminar in about five minutes. Just setting up my laptop. Got some aqua, go banana. I'm gonna eat this before we go and video chat because I feel like that'll be a bit sexual. I actually find this module so stressful. I tried really hard in the readings this week, but everyone's so smart in this that I don't know. I also changed into something a bit more like class appropriate, I don't know. Like, do you still have to look good in lectures or seminars if you're on video chat? Who knows? I know that everyone's like using Zoom now for college. Um, if you have like a small seminar, are you always like afraid to log in too quickly and then it's only you and your professor? I like to give it like a good like few minutes to make sure there's at least four or five people there because we just have nothing to talk about. Hello. So I just want to very quickly um, list for you a, a couple of the things that I see being defamiliarized in, in July's people. We talked last time, I think, about how uh, white privilege and it's... So, I just finished up my Zoom class and I ticked off my list, which is really satisfying. 
but um, for the rest of the afternoon, I'm gonna do some more readings. I just have a few things to finish up for some other classes this week. And then I'll have dinner with my family. My mom is making fish pie tonight, one of my favorites. Her fish pie is so good. And then after, I think I'm gonna do some baking. Um, I don't really have anything else to do. And I feel like my family would appreciate some brownies in the house. But yeah, my friend Abby tagged me in this vegan brownie recipe, so I'm gonna give it a try. And then I can eat those and watch Netflix, which just sounds like the perfect evening if I do my say if I do may if I do say so myself. <laughs> I've started watching this and I'm kind of obsessed. Oh, I'm only on episode two. That's mad. blueberries and banana, peanut butter. I'm gonna eat this and enjoy being outside. Blue skies all around today. Okay, so my friend Jacob just tagged me in this running challenge, which, you know, I'm excited to donate, excited to participate, spread the good message. I haven't run 5k in so long, <laughs> it's not gonna go well. And also, I haven't left the house since I came back from the airport, which is coming on to like four weeks now. And I don't know what I'm trying to prove by remaining inside, but I just haven't really felt a need to go out. And my parents have obviously been doing all the grocery shopping. 
So this is gonna be my first venture out into the real world since being home from New York. Um, but yeah, as you saw, I just did a workout and I ate some food. So I probably won't be able to run right now, but I'll wait a bit and then apparently I'm gonna run 5K. Thanks Jacob for the tag, really appreciate it. This is my favorite building in the whole wide world. This is so exciting. I did a whole project on this. It was amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get started. Um, really quickly, uh, hopefully you all received on Saturday the final prom agricultural agrarian economy. So today we're gonna focus just on three major villas. Uh, Poggio Caiano, built by Lorenzo de Medici. Uh, Tay, built by uh, Gonzaga. Okay, so I just finished my lecture, which means it is 5k time. Thank you, Jacob. Um, but yeah, I'll probably see you after because I'm not gonna bring a camera, so. I actually can't believe I did that. I'm kind of proud of myself. Cheers. single-handedly saving the economy <laughs> with takeaway Do you mm -hmm.